Jane and Michael want to say goodnight. Tell them you've given me the message. George, please. Hey, on the... Hey, Danny. We've had the most fantastic day. We, we, we sang with a Bosker, danced with a statue, and that Queen Victoria. Gay fun have approved. If you know that, then why did you do it? Father, can I have a kite? A proper one. Could you fly it? You could always teach me. When would I have time to do that? Daddy, he was the father of nearly is. Would you please let me get on? Good night. Poor Michael. All he cares about is flying kites and his beloved astronomy, of course. I used to love astronomy at his age. My nanny, Miss Andrew, soon beat it out of me. I suppose we do need a nanny, George. It is out of the question to go without one. Don't be absurd. Of course we need a nanny. All the best people have nannies. So their wives can do charity work and entertain. Which reminds me, how is your tea party coming on? I don't know. It seems so odd inviting people I hardly know. But they're people you should know. Remember, by your friends shall ye be judged. But that's the point. They're not my friends. Actually, I heard today from Clemmy Bunting. She's rehearsing a new play and I Winifred, thought... Winifred, how many times must I tell you? I wish you to sever all connection with that part of your life. George, I was an actress once. Lots of people might find that interesting, though you always talk as if I should be ashamed. Well, it's not exactly something to be proud of. Winifred, dearest, I'm only thinking of you. I want people to admire you, to respect you. I know, George, but sometimes it's hard. It is not hard. It is your job to be Mrs. Banks. And what's your job? To pay for everything. What is it? I was only going to kiss you. Oh. All right. Will you be speaking with Mary Poppins about this afternoon? I don't think so. Very well. Just make sure she's doing things our way and not hers. What good are rules if you can bend them? We need a nanny who is disciplined and stern. With boys and girls, you don't befriend them. I fear that Mary Poppins has a lot to learn. Be Mrs. Banks should be an easy role and yet it's one which i don't seem too good at one though i have a comfy home i have a simple life i have a name which tells the world i'm someone else's wife being mrs banks what does that entail Facing tests of character, I always seem to fail. And as for his best people, well, I'd like to say no thanks. They're not exactly my idea of being Mrs. Banks. I still feel as if I'm dreaming. Fun in just one day when Mary, Mary holds, holds your hand, hand you feel so grand. Your heart starts beating like a big brass band. I'm sure nearly is as beaming. Let's hope she will stay. Let's hope she Precision and order. Tides can turn, sink or swim, see what you learn. Me, I was told, when I was small, just learn a trade. So I learned them all. Chim, 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 Swabbing the 
decks today, I see. Going to keep the street ship safe, Admiral. Uh, tell me, how are things aboard the number 17? All plain sailing with Mary Poppins, I trust. There's some rough weather on every voyage, Admiral. Ah, Miss Locke. What those children need is a touch on the cat and a knight on the yard arm. What those children need, Admiral, is a touch of happiness. Mrs. Briel, don't make the sandwiches too early. They get stale before the guests arrive. Everything's under control, ma'am. And what about the cake? Crawling on the tray, waiting to be iced. And you're quite sure you know how to ice it? Quite sure. And in case you're worried, I have not been exchanged by the fairies for a total nincompoop. No, no. No. Well, I'll go up and check the drawing room then. I'd like to be helpful. Well, I'd like to be rich, but the good Lord thought otherwise. Miss Brill, Mother wants you in the jewelling room. Well, she can't help me. I've got enough on my plate as it is. She says you can tell Roberts and I what to do. <laughs> Does she indeed? <laughs> well, why don't I go and have a smoke by the gaslight for good measure? Please, Mrs. Prill, I don't mind, honest. All right, I'll give you one task and one task only. And so help me, if you can't get this right, I'll swing for you and sing as they pull the lever. What is it, Mrs. Prill? I will need some tools to ice the cake and a bowl of hot water to warm them. I will make the icing as soon as I'm back. Icing tools, cake, hot water. Uh, oh, I will make the icing as soon as I'm back. Yes. Now, do you think you can handle that? Is that all? Oh, for you, yes. But for me, no. Because once the cake's done, I've got sandwiches next. Because Madam wants some fresh, so... Oh, I can't start with that till there's no time left to make them. Oh, I swear, Selene in ancient Rome was on a pleasure cruise compared to my life in this house. Well, don't just stand there, Roberts and I. Right. No. What are you looking for? A bowl for the water. Michael, why don't we make the icing? Because we don't know how. Don't be so feeble. Get the eggs. If Mrs. Brill can do it, it can't be that hard. Are there eggs in icing? They are in mine. I don't think Mrs. Brill will thank you. Then she will be guilty of a great ingratitude. Is it supposed to look like that? It doesn't look like that when Mrs. Brill does it. Don't be impertinent and get me the cake. <sighs> Honestly, Miss Jane. I was only trying to be helpful. If you were... Ah! Oh, 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 Miss Jane, honestly. Oh, 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 oh